I think that I think this is just a very much an easy game. Though Ember Spirit in a bit of trouble. The first net goes out. Fly comes in. He does have a sap here, but he doesn't have the fear. He wants to go for this kill on Bryle. This is definitely looking like the first blood, though. He does end up getting the the speed. Now he might be, as he's very obviously seen by Fly, and now Fly. Not exactly any great method of escape. He'll throw out a frost shield out onto Artsy, hoping he would be able to engage, but he does not want to engage on Bryle here. He's got a lot of damage. He tries to disengage, but you know, Bryle is still here. Comes back in. Ion shell damage. It's enough. Lifestealer now running EE, running uh, third in the net worth here. He's going to end up going for the Maelstrom. It's very standard as well now. You see the Maelstrom into Heaven's Halibird. Hang on, back up at the top. Darkseer in a bit of trouble snaking. Not going to be able to jaunt this one away because Arteezy ready to go for it. Anyway, it looks like they're going to try to die Fly here. There's no real way to get away from this one and Fly will just go down here. Ryle gets the kill. They do have all the Meepos here. There's three Mapos. Mapo boys. Trying to mop anything up here. It looks like fortification's going to be expended. Owie's going to take back this outpost, but looks like they control the bot outpost anyway right now. In fact, he might be in a bit of trouble here. EE -E plans to continually chase him underneath the tower. Spear is available. Ramses does have arena and just doesn't really want to die. Gets the push out, though, and they actually find the kill on EE. -E. They spear him to the tree. They get him. <laughs> There's the BM tip as well. Back in the mid, though, we do see a lineup team fight coming out. They drop the fear, just crit, trying his best to deal any damage here. Snake King will end up going down with the DD on Bryle. It's very scary to deal with. Crit will end up going down. The fear goes out on Owie. The net's going to be there. Abed just clicking away. Ramses is here. He does have arena, but no need for it. He does get three kills. See? Kind of standing here. Maybe looking to get the jump on EE here. Thoughts of the Remnant's not going to land. He's going to end up walking just through the Bramble Maze here because he's got Rage. Along the tree. He's not quite done yet, though. He thinks the rest of the team is going to be ready to go here. But Creep will infest a Creep. He actually brings it in because now Snaking is here. They do end up having the wall. They bring in the Taunt, though. EE being clicked down, though. Arteezy, no escape. Does have it now, though. Will jump away and crit. Goes into magic form. They do drop the arena on the back lines. Ember Spirit not getting skewered. Is going to remnant out of there. Power is still up. Allows him the TP in. Snaking moderately low here, but not low enough. Now Abed is here as well. Now he's not. Because now he's top, where he's end he's actually going to end up killing off this Ember Spirit. No, he dies instead. Abed loses one of his clones. Going to go down here. They do see the IO relocate. I think they're going to want to end up going for this one. They drop the remnant, so that no matter what this kill is happening here, unless Owie and Snaking have something else to talk about it. Nope. Spear him to the tree, which no longer exists. Now Moon Meander, though, healing up. Still going to get bit down by Crit here. Tries to drop the fear, but... Battery Salt's a pretty good spell. He's not going to end up getting hit with that fear. And Ramses goes down as well. Bryle coming in. They're showing their feathers. Bryle's at 6.7k at the moment, leading the top of the net worth. And he's not hes not scared to fight. Goes out. They know that he's on this high ground, though. Owie, he does not have hook shot. They drop a remnant in, though. They do manage to find the, the rune on there. And I think Abed's just dead here. He does manage to land a good two-man net. And the Battery Salt won't get him. He starts the TP out from the dying Meepo. Begins the other hoops out. He's gone. Which is good because that'll get Crit closer to his mechanism, which he's going to need. Especially since EE is right here. The spear trying to go out to snaking. Arena is available for Ramses. They throw out the fear. It's a pretty good fear, actually. They get everybody with this. Trying to find the remnant. Jump. They get the kill with the remnant. Owie goes down on the back lines to Abed. Holding him over, though. They, he accomplished his goal because if Abed was able to fight, everybody would be dead right now. But that being said, though, they still manage to get Moon Meander. Owie goes down as well. The nets are going to be there. They can't pop the rage just quite yet. No, EE doesn't manage to get it off. But Abed looking for the clicks. They have the buyback immediately coming out by Moon Meander. They have to bring back in, though. Ramses does go down. The beach ball from Fly comes through and it does enough damage. They get snaking. Moon Meander can't die back right now. They're going to buy back immediately again. Snaking. They manage to find the kill on crit. Bryle goes for the kill on fly as well. Now Meepo getting moderately low. They send out the low one. They're going for the kill. Bryle very low again. They get the kill. They bring out the low Meepo. And the last Meepo, he needs to go. And he's out of here. But they bring in another Meepo. They must have misclicked because Abed, he's got no HP on this Meepo too. Starts the poof. There's no way he could get him. And he's out of there. There's the tips coming out as well. They're like, you were playing with fire, bud, and fire indeed. Got out. There's that little IO right click as well coming in. You want to go for somebody here. This might just be an aggressive warning attempt, though. Ramses does manage to find somebody. They get Moon Meander. They miss the spear, and he can't get out of this one. He's just he's just dead here. Courier gets flipped as well. Crit comes in with a bang, and Ramses will get him with the spear. I want to look at this. This is the Crimson Spear, right? 
Yeah, that's the Crimson Spear. Anyway, Abed is going to end up finding a kill in the mid in the meantime. Snaking gets netted down and just absolutely destroyed. Showing off that E-Blade and just going ham. I think this is Roshan time. They drop a flare out, though. They want to go for this kill on Bryle. The Nets are not going to find anybody. And Abed, yeah, he's going to take the advantage they have now. He's going to go for this Roshan, who now swings with a very, very Valentine's -y swing. Imagine if you can unlock this permanently, but like you can have your own custom anima animation with this. Wouldn't exactly be a bad idea. They're pinging it out. They want to try to fight this, but they don't have Darkseer. They don't have Io. Bryle comes in, tries to do some damage here. Does reveal that he does have level 1 crits, and the life stealer is in him as well. Owie comes in, making sure crit doesn't get the bang, but he still manages to hit him, though. Ramsey's Arena, not available just quite yet. It's actually up another 20 seconds, so... Arteezy, though, they managed to find at least the kill on Owie in the back lines. No, they just want Bryle, but little did they know. Moon Meander, though, he uh, gets... Oh, he tries to get the relocate, but it's not going to work. He relocates actually 10 centimeters away. He reload 10 centimeters. Amazing. They do manage to get the kill on Moon Meander, though. And Arteezy's just, like, standing promptly outside the Roshan pits. Like, are we going to finish this or what? The arena gets dedicated in the mid here to take down this dark seer and snaking. Fear is available on the fly. Starts the fear. Pushes them away. But snaking, he does have his speed available. No, he doesn't. E-Blade to the face. Abed takes the claim. Looks like they're not done yet, though. Arteezy wants to find Owie here, but he can't quite get him. There's not enough little vision there with that angle that he was in. Anyway, looks like EG, they want to go for this Tier 2 tower here. They still have yet to get the Tier 1 top. They find the Ruid actually on Snaking in the back. They ruin him again. Meepo Illusions being created here. They don't really want to fight themselves. Bryle, not going to find any roots, though. They're just going to disengage from this one. EG now revealed with the Clockwork Flare. Abed TPing one of his Meepos up to the top. Now the second one. Maybe the third. Nope, just going to TP him out. Smoke goes out. Side of EG here. Ramsey's with Arena available. He's actually going to go for Vlad, so no Blink Dagger this game. It's because Meepo's got a Blink Dagger, I guess. There's already so much initiation available, not to mention you could just Remnant jump with the uh, Faceless Void. Radiant, Radiant drop a scan. They find nobody there at the, at the exact point in time. They drop a scan themselves up on the high ground and know at least someone's up there. They find Snaking. Smoke expires. They just want this last tower. Arteezy now revealed as well. The Remnant goes out. He is going to block it, though. They have the Meepo coming in on the sidelines here. They want to get this kill on the Ember. Bryle, they dropped the arena. There's four men in this arena right now. Where's the fear? Here it comes, baby. The Beach Ball goes through. The Lich Ultimate doing so much damage. Not really the fear too much, though. Bryle getting low. Is going to be able to jaunt away for the time being. Is going to be E-bladed up, but he is going to be able to jaunt it for the time being. Moon Meander, low HP. Able to get out of there, but at the same time, they still lose the clockwork on the sidelines. Abed teeping away to the base. Luma's Meepos, though, he's trying to hold over EE for the time being. There's no spears available, but they get the tower. They send all the Meepos out, and they throw the ha-has. Actually, there was a tower that died somewhere. Yeah, they got the tier 1 tower. That's what I was looking at. And now Abed sending the Meepos back. We're going to get this tower. Easy peasy. EG just showing off their, prow their prowess here. This Meepo. They've, they've got the moxie. They've got the guts. And you know what? If you don't ban it, Easy peasy. And to be fair, you know, here's the other thing. If they banned Meepo at the last phase, they would have banned... They would have just picked Naga on Arteezy. And then if they didn't end up doing that, then they banned Naga, uh, you could pick Meepo. Because that wasn't what they were going to do, basically. It's just EG have a very good flex amount of heroes. They... They can play very open with various different roles here, and it just works out extremely effectively. I say that as Arteezy is uh, level 13 here. They do manage to find Snaking, though. Trying to find the root, they get the jump, he's dead. Clockwork Cook, though, comes in on the back lines. They want to go at least for something here. Fly with four staff, pushes himself out of there. But he still looks pretty dead here. The clumsy net being thrown out. EE will end up actually helping get the kill here. Owie will get it, but EE skewered to the tree. Looking for the kill. Abed on the sidelines goes for the kill and Bryo on the back. Infest is not going to be helping him today. But still, again, Abed manages to get the kill on Brow. They're going to look for the kill out on the IO as well. And he goes, goes down too. Moon Meander. Eating the dirt. Eating the dirt. Ramsey's going to walk up to this top now. He's going to try to soak all of the projectiles. He's showing off his powers as he soaks the projectiles of the towers. Ahead. They drop the fortification. He's not going to try to soak the towers this time. I've saw this on Reddit before. 
It's a very scary thing to see when like all the tower shots go directly for Mars. But EG, they're gonna take this building. I'm gonna move on from there. There's a Desolator on your Void Spirit. The Meepo blinks in, goes for the immediate jump out onto the Dark Seer, and he's just dead too. Abed, super great Meepo. Meepo owned, indeed. He still has the Aegis. He's going for the second E Blade. He has the Eye of Scotty. How do you defeat this man? You just can't. Meepo Nets being thrown out. He's constantly throwing them. Throwing the high five as well. They do manage to find the spear and. Ryle's just dead here. Clockwork co cogs and hook out in the back lines. They do manage to find crit. No, crit goes into this just in time. Moon Meander goes down and it looks like fighting pandas. They want nothing more to do with this game. 24 minute game. Off bed Meepo walking through the game, cleaning house, and EG will take the series 2-0 to remain completely undefeated in this close qualifiers.